guys, it's Ashley Doodles here from My Random Life, and I just wanted to come to you today and show you a little project I was working on. Um, it's real simple, really easy. Uh, I have a bunch of these mason jars that I have to find some way to reuse them. I don't can. I live in the middle of the city. I wish I could grow a garden, but I just can't. I don't have the room. So, um, I had all these for redneck wine glasses. Um, that kind of fizzled out here, so I have all these redneck wine glasses that I don't know what I'm going to do with now, so I'm trying to find ways to reuse them for other reasons. Um, I like decorating with mason jars anyway, so, but in my art studio, I always try to find ways to recycle and reuse stuff, um, especially jars. This is something that you could do if you don't have a mason jar. You could do with a food jar even. Like a, a sausage jar or a spaghetti sauce jar or something like that. Um, I reuse all kinds of stuff. I don't believe in sending it to a landfill if you can reuse it. I was raised with a family of... I mean, like, my dad had ten brothers and sisters. So, my grandparents reused everything. And that kind of went off to them too and they taught us how to reuse everything but this is a mason jar pencil sharpener that I could set on my desk and use I seen this idea on Pinterest I didn't use it the same way but what you'll need is for for how I do it is a jar a lid well this is the lid and this is the ring um, if you're using a food jar, all you need is a jar and a lid, but you also need a pencil sharpener and a drill or a Dremel tool, a hot glue gun, a piece of cardstock, a pair of scissors, an exacto knife, and a pencil. Preferably one already sharp so you can mark, but for this purpose, I wanted to show you how this worked. Um, okay, so, oh, oh, also you can use a um, washer, a metal washer. You can get these at any hardware store for like five of them in a pack. Pretty cheap. Uh, this just keeps where you cut the lid, keep you from cutting yourself. And if anybody knows anything about mason jars, you know my lid is upside down. Um, I did that for a reason because it was really bent up and rode on. So I turned it upside down in hopes of just using the, the metal. But and then I still didn't like it so I cut out this piece to decorate it. It matches some food cans, metal cans that I got over here holding pencil supplies and stuff. But anyways... I just laid my lid down on a piece of cardstock and traced around it and cut it out. Um, that's the simplest way to do it. I cut it out using the scissors, but then after I done that, I laid the the metal ring down on it and traced it and cut it out too. Um, so you don't really have to have this if you don't want to. I just like it because it matches the rest of my stuff. Um, but what I done is I took this metal washer and this metal pencil sharpener. I love these pencil sharpeners. It's called Kum. It's made in Germany or KUM. Probably KUM. But anyways, um, I got it at Hobby Lobby for $1.79. It's all metal. Um, I love these. I've had one for a really long time. I bought one specifically for this because I know it will last. But what I done is I kind of figured out where that I wanted my metal washer on my lid. And then I drilled a hole through my lid, through this metal lid, so that would match up with the pencil sharpener. That way your pencil will go through your lid into the pencil sharpener. So, then I took my hot glue gun and I glued it down on top, the metal washer. Um, the thing about this metal washer is 
it the hole in the center wasn't big enough you can find them big enough uh but this one i just took this dremel bit here i think it's a burr bit i'm not really for sure um but i do know it's a metal carbide bit um and I just bored out the hole big enough for my pencil to go through and to match up with the pencil sharpener top. Um, it's not really that hard, but you do have to have a little patience because it does take a little while to get the hole big enough. Anyways, so I glued that on top. I glued it on top over the hole in the lid. Then I flipped it over and lined this up with that too. And I hot glued it down. Then whenever it cooled, I glued around it thickly, that way that the hot glue would hold the pencil as it, you know, went around and around. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, but the good thing about this is, is I'm really messy. So, whenever it's all together, let me put it back together for you. When it's all together... You're not going to get pencil shavings everywhere. This would probably be good for kids um, because they can't get hurt unless they're not making a mess. Um, I just, I, I like it because I'm, as you can't tell, I'm messy. Plus, you can always try to find something to do with the shavings. I've seen people make roses, like wooden roses with pencil shavings, but if you're doing the new crayon art where people are melting crayons, you could save crayon shavings, sprinkle it out on a canvas, take a hair dryer and melt it onto a canvas and create you some art. That I really like. But this is just a really simple way of just making a, you know, a pencil sharpener that you can have at your desk and it's reusing. I love to reuse. My random life is definitely about reusing. So I hope that you all enjoyed that. I'm going to put that up so I don't get nobody cut. Um, like I said, here's the pencil sharpener that I used. Um, here you can see it in action, maybe. You know. So, I hope you enjoy. And I will talk to you guys later. Like I said, if you all would like to know how to make redneck wine glasses or cake plates or anything like that, um, I can show you all that, too. Like I said, this is what that was for. I about got the glue off of it now. But I have tons of jars. Also, if you all have any ideas on what to make with mason jars, please, please leave a comment down below. That way, I can figure it out what to do with the rest of these jars. Um, I really appreciate it, guys, and you all have a great day, and I'll see you all again.